Hello, hello, hello. I am so happy to be here today. What's up, what's up? I am Daisy and I'm looking forward to taking a look at what's going to be revealed in the area of money, relationship, career, and well-being. Hmm, let's see what the cards reveal. And thank you so much for being here and hanging out on my channel, for subscribing, and I really appreciate that. And if you share it with your friends, hmm, that adds a whole lot of loving from me. Okay, so let's take a look at money. What's money got to say today? What's money got to say today? Hump day! Yay, yay! Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I love what I do. I love my space and I love... I love this. I really do. Ooh. Star upside down. Wow. This is a very ouch day. If you're a stock trader, this is very impending news. Uh, impending news. And it's very manipulative news. And it's going to jolt uh, some of your investments. But you know what? Take a look at your portfolio again. Contact your advisor. Take a look at what are some of the things that you can do to either take advantage of this or at least know what you need to do next. And overall, this is something that is telling all of us, the collective, there is something coming. There is something coming that's going to affect many of us and we need to start preparing. So overall, what are you doing uh, regarding your money regarding in case there's going to be a high inflation for some short period of time what are you doing with your money are you you know securing your positions or securing some money are you stocking food for at least three months do you know how much food you guys eat in a month and you know what would it look like to store food for three months some of your essentials and what's the worst you can do you're gonna be eating a big deal but you know what be very careful um, to take care of yourself and your family. Something's coming. I don't know what I, it's what I'm seeing here. It's interesting. I just got the number six. So I don't know if it's six weeks or six months. It's interesting. Okay. Relationship. Good, good. I feel that something got talked out. I feel that something has been reached to some a good place where now in the relationship, this relationship, and it's interesting because I'm not getting that it's just an intimate relationship. I'm kind of getting that it's that special relationship. There's somebody that you know that you've been close to, are close to, getting close to, and now the relationship has gotten stronger because there has been a little bit more sharing, a little bit more integrity, a little bit more honesty, a little bit more truth. And in a way, oh, I'm getting goosebumps. This has created more of strength in this relationship. So I'm loving that in every which way that it could be used. So I love that message for myself too. Right. I know it's Wednesday. I'm feeling Wednesday energy. Okay. Daisy, what's going on? What kind of coffee are you drinking? Hmm. <laughs> I'm drinking, have you have you known I am drinking that cafe that's caffeinated? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at career. What do we have in the area of career? Is it gonna match this energy here? What's the deal? What's the deal, Daisy? What's going on? I don't know. I wanna know. Don't you? What, what do you think I'm asking you? Yeah, 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 hold on. Hold your horses. Ooh, guess what? Remember how th earlier this week what happened? You were waiting for that news. You were waiting for that deal to, to you know, break through because it was on hold. And finally, it's here. Yes, what a way to get right through that middle of the week with this type of news. A new opportunity. The contracts are coming to the table. Money's going to be off. Hey, what's one of my money card? 
This is now we can start saving a little bit and putting into the stock program that we need to start doing. I'm talking stock like stock and up program. I'm not talking about stock market. <laughs> okay, so definitely loving this message for your career, for your businesses, for the salespeople. Those those deals are coming through, contracts are coming through, uh, the, the job opportunities, callbacks are happening. I'm happy for you. Lots of good things. Doesn't mean that you're not going to have mountains to climb. You sure do. But right now, we welcome those challenges, right? Okay. Let's take a look at well-being. Well-being. Where are we with well-being? Where are we with well-being? You know, I first used call this card health. And I felt sometimes that I didn't have enough coffee and I was saying hell. So I had to like, you know what, I need I need a different word. That means well-being. That means healthy. Uh, so health, well-being. Okay, what's up? What's up? Something's up. Something's off. And there is something, even though this is here, something still feels off. Remember that earlier car talked about temperance? Well, maybe you started on something. Maybe you started becoming aware. And maybe that has brought you into a place where you revisited old ghosts. Our shadow has shown up and it's time to confront it. Please, if you are that at that place, if this is you and there's something showing up in your life and you don't feel comfortable, but it is part of you because we cannot have light without day and we can't neglect that little voice that says, I'm hurting, I'm in pain, I'm afraid. You need to acknowledge that and bring it in and just say, I have enough love for you. I love you. Don't be afraid. It happened. It's okay. I'm here. Let's move on. You need to deal with those shadows. And you can. I know you can. That's why it came up. Because all I'm here is to show a little light on that. You already knew that. You already did. And if I can be that person out here to say, it's going to be okay then I'm happy to be that person for you. Okay, what do we have here? What do we have here? Our universal message from the beautiful nature beings that cohabitate this planet with us. And there's a message in here for us. Well, the faithful dog. So that's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. That's interesting where these two things are. There's a disconnect between the material world and the spiritual world. And we're trying. And, and these are from major cards. This is like the major themes in our life, you know, mastering these two big things. I have come to a conclusion and I'm not a you know a scholar I am a professed self-professed scholar because I've spent most of my life since I was 16 loving loving the study of myself and and just life and that intrinsic thing that's called this this space here and God and how all of this works anyway Daisy why are you babbling yeah yeah you know what I'm babbling but I could see here because of these two themes where they're at that there is this struggle to master the material and the spiritual. And our loyal friend, the dog. What is the dog trying to tell us? Backwards, it spells God. So let's go and just read it for sake here. Your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. Holy cow, what I just say? Too many masters, money or spirituality. And remember yesterday's card or sometimes this week we had that temperance. We got to find that middle ground. Well, this loyal friend is saying, you've got to serve one master and then everything else will fall into place. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. I know, but you need to find which one it is for you. Okay, my friends, this has been wonderful. Thank you for spending some few minutes with me. Um, I want to send you blessings and may the G-O-D force be with you.